Okay. What do you do when you get sick? Do you rush to the doctor? Do you hurry up and take medicine? What do you do when you get sick? Am I telling you going to the doctor is wrong? No, I don't think so. Am I telling you taking medicine is wrong? I don't think so. Okay, much of the time, I believe I tend to exercise my faith. For instance, maybe for three or four weeks, somewhere around there, I believe, the left side of my throat and the inside of my left ear, well, the left side of my throat was really, really, really sore. So sore. And the left, and the inside of my left ear was some pain. And I had no idea what that was. Um, I thought I had strap throat or something like that. I'm not sure. And to swallow was so painful. So painful. And I tried gargling salt water and I don't think that did any good. I thought about buying cough drops, but I did not. Okay. So during that sore throat, I think sometimes there is a tiny bit of it left. You know, sometimes when I swallow, I think it's a little bit there left. But for almost every day, I prayed about it over and over and over and over and over again, praying about it. And I was wondering, why is this happening to me? Then, then I believe it got to the point to where the pain became less. Then one day, I think something came to my mind, like what happened to the pain or the pain is gone. Listen now, what if you don't have access to the doctor? What if you don't have access to medication? Are you just going to give up? Are you going to say to yourself, well, I am just going to die because I can't go to the doctor. I don't have medication, so I am going to accept my fate and die. What if you got or get shot or what if you got shot in your chest? If you could not go to the hospital, would you give up? Will Kevin there is no sense in praying about it because what is praying going to do?
Like, I don't exercise my faith in God, so why even try now? What if you don't have access to the hospital? What if you don't have access to medical care? Are you just going to give up and worry yourself to death, which I believe you can actually do that? Worry you so much to where worry so much to where you can die. I think that is possible. I don't think there is anything wrong with taking medicine. Look now. I think we can all elevate higher in God. If, if you are in God now, I believe those people, or should I say we all can elevate higher in God. How many of us are doing what Jesus did in the New Testament? while he was living on earth. I believe we have access to a great amount of power. Man, I think the type of relationship, how can I say this? I believe the type of relationship we have with Jesus Christ is dependent upon us. I think we can elevate so high to where we probably could be doing some really high level supernatural stuff sometimes i listen to people on youtube about certain things they are involved with with god and i don't want a regular christian life and you may say what are you talking about kevin you know, to where you go to church and you listen to the same type of teaching and you stay on the same level, like you don't really learn much of anything new. It's like a routine Christian type of life. I don't want that. I want to elevate. Why am I exercising my faith? I can easily go to the hospital and get this done and get that done and blah, 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 blah. I can easily take medicine and stuff like that. But, and I am not saying I don't do that, but what I am saying why not exercise your faith? Why not read in the Bible and see what things are possible for us and try to do it? Which I am not saying that, you know, I try to do everything that is written in the Bible as in trying to raise the dead and stuff like that. Why not attempt to get better. I am not saying you can jump from one to 100, but why not take steps to it? Am I saying I want a mega church and be a bishop and all this stuff here? No, what I am saying, 
I believe we can elevate so high in God, so high in God. If someone is higher than you in God, why settle for peanuts? Myself, I am trying to learn how to get better in God. Am I telling you, am I telling you I am doing everything perfectly? No, but I want to get better. I don't want to be stagnant. I don't want an ordinary Christian life. What if I die and go to heaven and learn that I could have done so much more in God than what I have. I am not saying that I am going to be a top performer, but why not do more? Spiritually, do you understand what I am trying to say? Okay, take your medicine. Okay, go to the doctor. But why not exercise your faith? Or do it sometimes, right? Look, if you get a headache, instead of reaching for the aspirin or the Tylenol or whatever, Advil, touch your head you know, God, please forgive me for all of my sins. But I am healed in Jesus' name. Yes, my head hurts. Yes, I have a headache. But I am declaring myself healed in Jesus' name. One hour pass by. Two hours pass by. Five hours, one day, two days. Head still hurting. I declare myself healed. In Jesus' name, if any demon or whatever is making my head hurt, I command it to leave right now in Jesus' name. I'm telling you, man. Exercise your faith. There was something, and I don't think it hurts me now. Let me go back to my throat. Now, is my throat all the way healed? I think sometimes I feel a tiny bit of pain, but I am believing my throat is healed all the way. There was something that caused me so much pain, I believe, in the past. And I think it started last summer or maybe a few months before then. And I was praying about it, praying about it, praying about it. And I think the more times I prayed about it, the pain became less. Now, I have not really tested to see if it is all the way healed, but I am not feeling, I don't think I feel any pain in that area now. To the point to where I think the pain was kind of constant, but to where no pain now. Now I could test that area to see if there is still pain, but I am not going to test it. But I think in the past pain would come and I would pray about it, and sometimes shortly after, the pain would go away. Exercise your faith. Look now, there may be a time to where Christians are persecuted, to where you may have to hide, to where you may not be able 
to go to a hospital or to take medicine, what are you going to do then? Panic? Like panic so much to where you won't trust God? What use is that? Am I telling you that my faith is all the way up? Like I am the king of faith? No. Am I telling you I am this top performing Christian? No. Am I telling you Uncle Kev, Uncle Kev is the best? No. But exercise your faith. Don't be so quick to find other alternatives other than trusting in God for what is wrong with you. I pray this all makes sense. Let me stop here. God bless you.